today so for today's video I thought we'd do a sort of um, makeup look sort of slash get ready with me I mean I'm not going anywhere because when I'm recording this this video could probably be going up in three months the way things have been going for me but um, obviously the whole world is basically a zombie apocalypse right now so yeah I thought we'd just sort of chill out a little bit of makeup yeah so anyway so I've done brows already because let's be honest it's boring no one wants to see it so a highlighter which I need to grab which is up behind me behind me yes so I'm going to use the Ofra and Nikki tutorials highlighter so this is in glazed donut and I've I've had this for ages hence the old packaging and I just fell in love with it again like I was just like, con like I've been constantly using it like it's so beautiful Ofra highlighters are blinding though so if you don't like a lot of shine then do not ever buy an Ofra highlighter like they do not do things by half so I'm just going to put that underneath the brow bone I'm taking it on a crown brush C510 by the way by the way I know my cheeks are like really red it's because it's not hot there's nothing wrong with me it's just when I'm tired, like, I work stupid hours, um, and when I'm tired, my cheeks go red raw, um, so that's why they're, like, bright red, they're not usually this red, I'm, like, I'm literally, I'm not even joking, like, you could actually cook an egg on my face. Oh, blinding, oh my god, oh, it's too much. Okay, so now that we have that on, we're going to go on to eyeshadow base. So this is the Revolution Prime and Lock. Um, it's like Prime and Lock Long Wear Eyeshadow Primer. So I'm just going to put a dot of that on the eyes. This hasn't, even though it looks like it's going to be really thick and like really opaque, like a concealer, it's not. Um, it's quite liquidy, I guess. Uh, I'm just going to blend that out. So this is um, a brush from Kyma Cosmetics. I'll link... The little indie brand down below like they do some really gorgeous stuff uh so what we're going to talk about so first of all five sauce a new album uh obviously i am super excited about that if you didn't know i love five sauce with my whole heart <laughs> um so yeah like obviously they come out with a new album calm i'll also link that below so you can go and purchase that <laughs> and um yeah i just oh like it's so good like I don't know, Five Sauce are just, they they always just beat themselves with everything they do. Like Ashton said, I think he said the goal is to be a little bit less shitty every time. <laughs> Which, uh, uh, yeah, I, I guess I can see where he's coming from with that. Um, but honestly, like, the album is so, so good. Um, if you want to know my favourite songs, at the minute it's... I'll get back to me. <laughs> um, uh, because I keep listening to different songs and I'm like, oh yeah, that's definitely a favourite. Obviously, I love, like, Easier. I've also, I literally recently got um, Ashton's, like, logo from the Easier video, like, tattooed on me. Um, I'll link, like, a little picture up here so you can see it. Um, Ashton is, like, my favourite and the meaning behind the symbol uh, just really sort of like close to me so I was like yeah I um I really really want that tattooed on me so I did oh dude, I love high high I think is like truly like just oof it's one of those songs that I listen to once and it's constantly stuck in my head but then like not in the same way holy crap that's a good song I love that and is it Thin White Lies? Basically the whole album. I just love the whole album. So we're going to move on to eyeshadows. So I'm going to take the Milk Cosmetics. So this is the Millennial Pink Palette. And hopefully you should see all of these videos before I'm even using this. Um, but I have done three looks with the palette. So I'll link them down below and like one in the eye or something. Um, I'm sort of going to do something similar that I've already done. But just different colours. So I'm going to take... Pink Leather and Flamingo Dream, which are these two shades here. I'm just going to put tape down first because I want to do a winged eyeliner. So I'm going to do that first. One second. 
so yeah now we've got tape on we're gonna go into the palette so like i said i'm gonna take pink leather and flamingo dream and i'm gonna take that on a crown brush c511 i'm gonna take mostly pink leather um just because i really want a light wash of pink and my cheeks are so red i can't go over it i'm just gonna sort of just throw this on the eye Yeah, so while this crazy stuff's been going on, I actually haven't played with any makeup. I think I've done like a few looks for Instagram, but that's about it. Like I haven't really set to, to record. But on the plus side, when I last looked, I was one away from 300. I'm now two away from 300. <laughs> and it's taken me like, I think this is now my fourth year on YouTube to get to like 300 subscribers. Um, but yeah, yeah, it's a slow process. Um, Oh, I don't know what that is. What's that noise? Oh. Between. We don't, oh, it's like a couple thing, isn't it? Me and my partner don't even use it anymore. Uh, what was I talking about? Oh, yeah, like, so 300 subs. So no one's probably watching this anyway, so no one really cares. Um, but, yeah, I'm, I'm two away. So I'm quite happy with that. Um, yeah, like I said, it is a long process for me. Um, I'm just happy to sort of sit here, play with makeup and you know do what I'm doing I'm not I've got a dog hair in my tape I'm not really like bothered by the views and that I'm getting I just sort of like sitting down recording um putting on makeup I hate when the tape does this I'm not even like zoomed in I usually zoom in when I do this so you can get a right good look at my eye I think I need to go to sleep with this red cheeks going on I'm definitely not hot because trust me, it is not hot in this house. It's like freezing cold. Just gonna further blend that out with a crown brush C429. And the reason why this is still mainly a tutorial and get ready with me, chatty, whatever, is because I feel like I don't really talk in these videos because I'm like, just no one just cares. Like, just do your makeup and move on with your life. Um, so that's why I'm like, because I still mention all the products and stuff, because I feel like it's more of a tutorial than it is, you know, you getting to know me a bit better. Uh, if you wanted to know me a bit better, I don't know, but yeah. We can also talk about New Brooklyn Nine-Nine, Season 7, ba-bam. Um, yeah, I love Brooklyn as well. Like one of those TV shows that I can watch over and over and over and over again. And I just, I'll never get bored of it. Um, it is funny. It is, like there's episodes on there as well that are just, they were like, do you know what? Let's just bang out the park with this one. Like, I think it's, oh my God, what is it called? Oh, my memory's bank. Moo Moo, that's a really good episode. And then the Me Too episode, but I actually don't know what that one is. I know it's season six. Um, yeah, and if it, and obviously like Rose are coming out as bi and things like that. Um, everything's just done to perfection. Um, yeah, like most TV shows, like I'm just gonna say Big Bang Theory. Like I feel like they feel like they can have one different character, like one different race, and still throw like racist comments out there, and it's just like no. And that's why I never watch Big Bang Theory because I just feel like it's fucking full of shit. <laughs> um, so, yeah, that's why I like Brooklyn because it's not, there's no bullshit with it. Yes, there is going to be lots of swearing in this video. And no, I don't care. I do swear like really bad. I try not to on my channel. Um, I'm just going to take a bit of Flamingo Dream and just really take that on the outer corner with, on the crown rush. Um, yeah, I do I do swear pretty bad and obviously I try not to on my channel as much um, just because obviously I don't want to um, but you know, this is a video that's not really going to be me not swearing. Okay, I feel like I'm happy with how that looks even though it's literally two colours. I want a brush, I want a certain brush. So I'm going to take the ColourPop uh, creme gel colour so this is in Venus and this is this gorgeous red shade these are actually so nice I feel like I'm going to actually depending on how this goes today I'm going to start using gel more because I feel like I can't get a good wing with a felt tip no matter what I do it's just the, I love the Fenty one the Fenty eyeliner it's like the fly liner is brilliant but I still just can't get that nice crisp line like I can do with a brush um, this is from Blush Tribe. Unfortunately, she has had to close down her business. 
um, which is such a shame. I think she's still running, so she still has a few products going and stuff. But it's just a nice short angle brush. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna take that first and draw a wing on. I might not be on camera for this. I'm gonna try my best to stay on camera. And with this, I feel like you can just draw it on. It's so easy. Um, I actually am going to pick up more of these Colourpop eyeliner things as well. I think they're gorgeous. But obviously, um, I think Colourpop have shut down at the minute. Because I ordered the Mulan collection. Um, and I was like, yeah, I can't wait for it to come. And they were like, oh, like we're closing down a warehouse. Which, you know, is fair enough. Like, they've got to do what they've got to do. Um, but when that comes, obviously, you'll see different looks for that. But I'm so excited for that. And then I'm going to take the Real Techniques Fine Liner Brush. This is beat up because I've been using it for eyelash glue. Because what I've been doing is I've been putting glue like on my sort of lashes. Um, and oh, it honestly works like so differently. It's unreal. Um, but yeah, I need to get a new one because this is like bare gunked up. But I'm just going to sort of fill in the rest of it with this. I feel like it looks a little bit patchy. We're just going to sort of fix that. How good does that look? So much better. I'm literally, I think I'm going to pick up, everyone raves about the Inglot one, don't they? I think I'm going to get that in black. I want to wear my nails. I know they're super chipped, but I love this like black and white effect, if they were not chipped, obviously. This has been on for a week, and like, mm, yeah, not, not looking too bad, a little bit of wear and tear. And this is just, oh, I don't know what happened there, but uh, it is not good. So what we're we going to do now, so I'm going to do the other eye off camera. I'm going to put on some lashes and mascara. So I'm going to show you the lashes. So these are the Lily Lashes in J Makeup. And I just love these sort of effect. How they go sort of short and then like long. Um, I just feel like these are really nice with the winged eyeliner. So I'm going to do that, come back and do the base. Okay. So we're not even, but it's on. That's the main thing. That's the main thing. This like always plays me because where is like one key? Like she's got a lot of folded extra skin. She just loves to play me all the time. So we're gonna move on to skin now. So I'm gonna take the Barium Nymph Nymph Radiant Serum Beauty Elixir. Uh, let's take it on a brush, shall we? I can find a brush. Oh, this is the wrong one. I'm just going to take like a few drops on the Elf Stippling Brush. This is very, very oily. So if you do not like something like this as a primer, then you're not going to like this. But I really like this. I think it's beautiful. It smells good. It does add oil to the skin, but I wouldn't say it's like overly oily. Um, obviously, you can wait like 10 minutes for it to dry before you sort of go in but I prefer now more than ever a sort of more serum based kind of thing rather than a primer as such obviously you can just go in with like a moisturiser if you really wanted to and I like my moisturiser but I like my moisturiser for my moisturiser like I don't like it I'm just going to take my hands to sort of really rub that in I don't like it to put on with my base I like to really let that set in and um because that's like part of my skincare like it's not a step in my makeup routine um so that's why I typically like things like this or I love the Nipifab Rose Gold Essence that's really really good I'm actually on my second bottle with that I love it um if not I've just recently bought the Laura Mercier like hydrating primer and I know it's a primer because it's like really like I saw Kathleen likes use it and her skin looked so like dewy and just fresh and I thought yeah that's the kind of primer I'm like into now I do like the cover effects gripping primer I think that's like really really nice but other than that yeah, primers, they're like hit on with for me. Like, I just feel like they don't do a lot. Like, pore filling primers, they used to be like, yeah, I can see a difference. And the more I looked at it, I was like, I really just don't see any difference. So, like, I, I don't know, maybe I'm not using a great one or anything, but I just, I can't bother with that crap. 
So now I'm going to move on to foundation. So this is the Hourglass Vanish Seamless Finish Liquid Foundation. So this is in the shade Bisque. And it is probably a little bit too warm for me. Um, but I prefer a more warm based foundation. Um, I feel like if I wear pink, it washes me out too much. Even though I probably am more of a pink undertone. And same with like neutral. That's, that's why I just prefer a warm I'm just going to take that on a Spectrum BO1. So I just sort of tapped it out with my finger. Going in with the brush. And then just going to stamp it on. Just go in and blend that out. You don't need a lot of product with this. Half a pump will do. That's a full pump. Because I actually forgot that like, it's like half a pump. I'm usually just like... Like yeah, it's like a two pump foundation. But this is only half. Then for concealer, I'm going to take the Revolution. So this is the Conceal and Hydrate. So this is in C1. So Conceal and Hydrate, not Conceal and Define. I prefer the Hydrate one now. I used to like the Conceal and Fine, Define or whatever. But um, I felt like it was giving me little milliers. Um, so I was like, nope, throw that. Um, I use, Well, I use it as like an eyeshadow base or to cut the crease or whatever. But this one's really nice, especially with the powder I'm about to use with it. Um, but do not use this with a beauty blender because it will, like, it literally picks up like you leave like little clumps on the skin so don't ever use this if you're going to use this combo if you're like oh i'll give it a go or i have it or whatever just don't use a beauty blender okay just trust me like i've done a makeup look and i was like oh dear god i was like what the hell happened there and i was like i know it's not this combo because like this combo is really good and um and i was like yeah it's the beauty blender that's like done it And I'm just going to let that dry. And while that's drying, I'm going to take the Rimmel Instant Duo Contour Stick in light. So I'm just going to draw some lines around the forehead. Um, what's this? Are these cheeks? Uh, a little bit on the nose. Bit on the lip. Oh, I'll do some on the jawline as well. I'm just gonna blend out the contour with the Crown Brush C436. Say like you're someone that just you know you're like I like to play with makeup, but I don't want to record. Like I just like to wear it on my day to day basis. Like if you're in lockdown or you're not working and things like that, like do you still just put on makeup or do you just think sod to that? Like I can't be bothered. Because like, in a day-to-day -day life, I can't be bothered. Like, if I'm going to the shops or whatever, I'm not, I'm not going to put makeup on. I can't be asked. Um, so, I, just, like, I was like, hmm, I wonder if people still like watching makeup tutorials. Or they're going to be like, do you know what? Since I've got all this, like, time off and I can't go anywhere, like, I might perfect my makeup skills or something. I don't know what you're doing in your spare time. I mean, I'm still working. Like, I have to work. Um... I have no choice but yeah I was just wondering like if people think oh now I've got a bit of free time like because I know like I think if I weren't working like I don't know how people are doing it like um you know it's is you, you're in your like routine aren't you and I don't know like I can imagine people sort of going a little bit like oh I can't do this anymore especially like my mental health like I know it would really affect me pretty bad but I mean, I've been okay, which is so strange because I'm like probably the most anxious person ever. Um, but I've been like really fine throughout all of this. Like I've had like mild panic attacks, but I wouldn't say like anything like bad. Like I thought I'd be really, really bad. But everything's been like really mild. I've just been like really chilled. I don't know if I just, I don't know, like it's so strange. Like I just feel fine. Um, but yeah. Should probably take a small brush to do my nose, but meh. Because I'm only gonna move the concealer when I blend it out. Uh, we'll just blend it out with the concealer as well. It's just all gonna become one at this point. <sighs> Put too much concealer on it. Damn it! I'm just gonna take my foundation brush and just give it a bit of this. Now I'm gonna blend out the concealer. So I'm gonna do this in my 
forehead first. So this is the Hourglass Seamless Brush. I love this for this combo or the Blender Fall from Tarty Beauty is really good. I use any brush, any pad puff, anything by Beauty Blender, okay? Just don't use it. I know I said it like three times, but you have to listen to me. Don't do it. So I'm going outside right now. Don't do it. Don't use Beauty Blender with this foundation, with this concealer and with this powder, okay? Like, I feel like my hairdresser, like, I need her to keep in contact with me, be like, how you doing? Like, you haven't cut your own bangs or anything, have you? Not that I don't think I ever would, but I haven't even blended this bit out. That's clever. Um, I don't think I ever would because I remember last time like I had bangs. Like I used to have them all the time when I was younger. And I was like, mum was like, yeah, get it done, get it done. I was like, okay then. So I had it done and I was like, yeah, I don't like this. Like, I want to grow it out. And growing it out was like the most painful thing I think I've ever been through in my life. And um, so I definitely wouldn't cut my own bangs. But obviously my roots are starting to come through, you know, a little bit. And if we're going on like three months of staying inside... I'm not even gonna be blonde anymore. Like I'm just this is so this obviously is my thigh and then because I only get I don't get a full head and then this is actually my natural colour. So I'm very, very dark, but I like to be blonde. Um I was very blonde when I was young and obviously my as I got older it just obviously didn't go back to blonde anymore. Um like it happens to all of my family. Like my aunt was like such a blonde but it's only recently happened, but like now she's like super, super dark. Um, even my cousin who had like really blonde hair is now starting to go quite dark um, but yeah like I've always just preferred to be a blonde so I was like what am I going to do like I'm just going to have to dye it pink and like hopefully no one really stares at my roots that much because if you're like pink with a bit of like brown or black or whatever like it looks kind of cool kind of edgy but if you're like blonde and got like roots like this like it's just not cute <laughs> um, so yeah I don't know what I'm going to do but uh, we're going back to the hourglass brush and just blending out this concealer under the eyes now. I'm just going to take my foundation brush and just sort of blend everything out. Just to make sure everything's really nice and blended. Okay, so now I'm going to take the Beauty Bakery powder. So this is the flower setting powder. So this is better, not bitter. And this is in translucent. So you can get a bunch of different shades um i'm not entirely sure what shades there are but i know there's quite a few so i'm just gonna load my brush up so this is the crown brush c530 i'm just gonna make sure this is blended still so i'm just taking the hourglass brush and just really getting in there and then just gonna set that you can go quite heavy with it if you want to so you can bake just not with a beauty blender <laughs> i'm not supposed to be laughing while i'm doing this it's gonna grease oh i swear like it just smooths everything out it is so nice this combo I'm just gonna take a little bit on my t-zone okay so now we're gonna add just a little bit more contour so i'm gonna take the kvd palette so this is the shade and light palette if you didn't know, Kat Von D no longer owns her brand anymore. So that's why I am using Kat Von D again. So I'm going to take these two shades and I'm going to take that on a Real Techniques contour brush. Really tap off the excess because obviously I've got a little bit of the cream one on. And I'm just going to do that around the cheeks and the forehead. So just a little bit. If that's loud tapping, I don't care. Then for bronzer, I'm going to take the BH Cosmetics um, Brilliance Bronzer in Golden Girl. I'm just going to take that on a Spectrum CO7 and just lightly bronze up the face without getting hair in it. Now I'm going to go back into the highlighter. So this was from Ofra. And I'm just going to take that on a Crown Brush C529. I'm just going to put that on tops of the cheeks. A little bit on the new. So now I'm going to take the Mel Cosmetics uh, blush. So this is in Honey Thief. And I'm going to take that on a Spectrum AO5. I'm just going to flush up the cheeks. So now I'm just going to take some finishing sprays. Not that we're going anywhere. So this is the Revolution Hyaluronic Essence Spray in Pink Grapefruit. And just like a hit of the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. 
because I said we're literally going nowhere. <laughs> Finish off the eyes, I'm literally going to go back into Pink Leather and uh, Flamingo Dream on the same brush and just put a little bit of that on the lower lash line. Just put a little bit of highlight on the inner corner. So this is the Spectrum A13. And then for mascara, I did take the Kat Von D. So this is the Go Big or Go Home mascara. And it is in Trooper Black. I'm just going to hit up the lower lash line. It is a big old wand. Um yeah i i'm a waterproof kind of girl but um because i'm not going anywhere i'm like what's the point of waterproof because you know there's just no point <laughs> by the way i don't actually know if this is waterproof i'm just like yeah it's not waterproof no my like it probably is so for the lips i'm gonna take the ofra liquid lipstick so this is in atlantic city i'm just gonna put on a little bit of lip balm and then just sort of blow it off lightly before we actually go with the lipstick so this is the lush honey trap lip balm uh, just because my lips are so dry, like it's so cold outside, and I work in the cold as well. So we've got a little bit on. It's not too much to give us a, like a really bad slip, but I'm going to go and gloss anyway, so. So I'm just going to take that all over. And it's not on my teeth. I love Ofra Liquid Lipsticks, man. So now I'm going to take the Jouer Skinny... I'm going to say skinny dip because that's the lip topper I usually use. This is the lip topper in Sweetheart. So it's just obviously a red glitter. I'm just going to go on top. I oh, love the smell of these. So I didn't mention at the beginning that this I got this inspiration. So this is on Milk Cosmetics um, Instagram. I'll link that below along with her Instagram as well. So it says Lena Bugs with a Z. Um, so yeah, I just love even like the red nails and everything. I wish I had red nails and not chipped white nails. But I love red. Like red for me, especially on the eyes, is one of my like diehard favourite colours. I think this is just super beautiful, super sexy. Ready for date night when we go back out there. Or ready to go for dinner. Whatever we're doing, we're going to do it with a red lip. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Bye. Bye. My camera's going to die.